Hi to everyone. I am speaking today as an emissary of the Galactic Federation of Worlds, as it is my work, and also as an emissary of the Intergalactic Confederation, relaying the messages from my colleague and sister Una, who is an emissary for the Altian people. We are inviting you to look up. Look at the sky. Not five minutes. Oh, there's nothing to see. No, not this way. We're inviting you to just ground yourself, sit, stand, and open your heart to the sky, to the heavens, to the beautiful starlight you will see. Them, the ships. Many, many of you have already reported and are reporting more and more every day sightings of ships. So these ships, I am going to tell you who they are who they belong to. These ships belong to three organizations. The Galactic Federation of Worlds, the Positive Secret Space Programs, Solar Warden and other associated programs now joined all together via the Artemis Accord. These ships also, in the third place, belong to the Intergalactic Confederation. Since the Intergalactic Confederation, as we call the Cedars, arrived in our star system in October 2021, as I reported, and as others reported, such as Long-Term Military Contact JP, friend of Michael Sala and James Gilliland and Alex Collier and many other people have reported the arrival in October 2021 of a fleet of ships from the Intergalactic Confederation in the orbit of Jupiter. They have joined their ancient outpost on the moon of Jupiter, Ganymede. Many testimonies have come up with that. These people are coming back to witness and take part to your graduation into a stage three planet, into your awakening and your liberation. The Galactic Federation of Worlds has been dealing with eliminating the extraterrestrial tr threat means the Nebu Grays and the Draco Alliance. They've kicked them out of this system. There is no more Draco Reptilian Sikar in the star system. There is no more Nebu Grays in the star system. As a fact, whatever the Dark Ones are trying to confuse you with, because knowing this, you realize that you have the power. You are in power. The 1955 agreements with, with the Grace are rescinded. They're gone. It's, it's over. It is over. That's what they try to confuse you with. They try also to confuse you with Hybrid greys, welcome them back. No, that is part of the agenda. That's why they've been hybridizing all these people as a weapon to breed themselves in. But now, the Prime Directive has been adjusted. That coercion doesn't work anymore. Deception doesn't work anymore. 
so they can do everything they want to deceive people. It's not working. It's failing. And they're desperate. So we are inviting you to look up. You are in your own power. You are free, not knowing it yet, but you are. So look up and you will see the ships. A program had been set a few months ago um, for the disclosure. And this, this arrival of ships of the, the Intergalactic Confederation, called the Cedar Races, the 24 Cedar Races, have passed these agreements with the Earth Alliance, Solar Warden and the White Hats, and the Galactic Federation of Worlds, to come up with a plan for disclosure. This happened in the end of the year 2021, in December. They came up with this plan. The Earth Alliance is in charge of disclosing Earth secret files. And the Galactic Federation of Worlds and the Intergalactic Confederation are in charge to show their ships to you. That you become aware of galactic existence, exo-life, galactic allies, them. There are now at the moment four motherships of the intergalactic confederation in orbit of Earth. They are very proud of you. They see that you manage to navigate throughout the confusion, that you start to become, to refine your discernment and you grow and you, you become more aware of how to recognize the dark and how to recognize the light. How to see the ships? Well, you need first to raise your frequency by finding a state of peace within you. And this state of peace will reconnect you with your higher soul, your higher frequency soul, who you truly are. And when you vibrate into this higher frequency, your perception as well expands. And also, they sense you. They sense you and they are going to fly nearby your location because they will sense that someone is watching. We're going to show ourselves to this person. They're doing that a lot, more and more. Do this, wait. Sometimes it can take half an hour. Be patient. You will absolutely see something, I can assure you, if you send the signal. I am ready. I am confident. I am a free sovereign being. I am part of you. You are part of me. I am looking up and I am seeing you. I see you. Manifested, I see you. We are entering into an extraordinary time. This timeline is pretty much anchored and set. There are contradicting narratives that tell you there are different timelines together, that different planets together, that salvation, redemption, things. That is all to confuse you and scare you, maintain you in a state of fear, stress, emotional dependence to whatever news you hear. No. Oh. Go within. Be who you are, humans of Terra. And you are something. <laughs> I can tell you, you are something amazing. So on behalf of the Galactic Federation of Worlds, 
and on behalf of the Intergalactic Confederation. We wish you a wonderful time looking up and seeing the signs of hope.